In today's video, I want to show you how to install Box64 CH root environment. This way, we are going to be able to run Windows games and Windows programs like you are seeing right now. And this is automatically installed with the tool Box64. So let's start with the video. The first thing to do, as always, is going to my repository. Here, I have added a new entry in the CH root part. You can see that it has the Box64 logo, so you can click on it. And here, I have all the instructions. We are going to use this repository, the Box64 official one, so you can open it and take a look. We are going to follow the basic instructions to install it, so let's go to my repository where I have all the commands and start copying the first one. Copy the command and go to Termos. We are going to paste it and wait until a menu appears. So paste the command, run it and you will find several options. In my case, I want a CH root environment, so I'm going to select the second option. But depending on what you want, you can select any of the others. After selecting the second option, we need to wait until all the process finish, and now we can start Box64 Droid with the command that appears on the screen. So after this, we will see other menu, and we are going to enter the terminal mode with the option 8. Basically, because this option will give us an Ubuntu environment and we are going to install an XFC4 desktop environment. So we will be able to run anything like we did on Mobox. So we can see that we are in a terminal. This is an Ubuntu terminal and we are going to start fixing a few things. First, we need to copy these commands to be able to have internet on this environment. After we paste these commands, we are going to have internet and all the repositories will be updated. From this, we can create new user or install new packages. So let's go again to the repository and continue with the installation. Let's copy this command to install the basic packages and to check that everything is running fine. So after the basic packages are installed, we are going to install the graphical environment. I'm going to use XFC4, but you can install Genome or whatever other environment. You can check the environment for the peer root distributions for Ubuntu. But for now, let's install Firefox so we can have a browser working on this Ubuntu CH root environment. Copy and paste the command from my repository, click on yes when prompted, and now we are going to launch the graphical environment. For this, we are going to create a script inside the CH root environment and we are going to paste the content to start the graphical environment, xfc4. So paste this, save with Ctrl-O and exit with Ctrl-X. Now we need to give execution permissions to the script. So remember chmod plus x and the name of the script and run it. I found that I had an error, this one, so I'm going to show you how I fix it. First, I'm going to copy one of the start scripts that you can find in my repository. You can copy any of them. And I'm going to rename it for startbox.sh. If you edit now the file, I'm going to the last line and I'm going to comment the line that runs the environment. Basically, I want to set up all the environments variables that I need, but I don't want to run the period environment. I want to run box64. So you can run the startbox.sh, so everything is loaded and all the variables are created. And now we are going to go into box64 with the command box64 droid start. And remember that we need to select the option 8. Now you can just run the script and the environment will start. So if we go to Thermox X11, you can see that everything is working fine. If you open the default browser, we can see that it's Firefox because we installed it before. And now we can start applying what we want. For example, some customization on XC4. As you know, I had a video, a really long video about this. So I recommend you taking a look at this. But I'm going to just install this Orchis theme and an icon pack. But to install this theme, we need to open a terminal. Every time we need to open a terminal, we will find this menu and we need to select the option 8. From this, check that we are not inside the download folder, so we need to move to that folder, and now we can uncompress the file with the command that you are seeing right now. After the descompression finishes, we can remove the original file, the one that was compressed, and we need to move all these new folders to the theme folder, so we need to create the folder called .themes and move everything inside. 
Now, if you go to the settings of XSC4, we need to open the appearance menu. And here you can select the themes that you have installed. So in my case, I will select the dark option. And also, I recommend you going to the window manager and selecting the same theme. So everything is in the similar theme. From this, we are going to install also an icon theme. In my case, I will install one from the same page as before. Excel for looks so you can take a look to all the things that are available but I will select the one called Tela icon theme. You can select the variant that you prefer and to install it we need to follow a similar process as before. We are going to the download folder, we need to uncompress the file and we need to move the uncompressed folder to the folder called .icons but remember that, that .icons and .themes are inside the home folder, not the download folder. So we are going to move everything we have uncompressed to the new folder, the dot icons one. And now we can go to the appearance menu again and select the icon theme. So go to settings, appearance and move to the icons tab. Here you will find all the icons themes that we have installed. So just select the one that you prefer. Now the only thing I have to do is Customize a bit the terminal and installing a wallpaper. So, for the terminal, I'm going to use Starship because this is very fast to customize. You just need to just paste this command into the terminal, and when it finishes, first we need to install curl as you saw. But when it finishes, we will see a message that we need to read carefully because we need to copy one part of that message and paste it into the bash rc file. So here you can see that. If we go up, we can go to the bash section and we need to copy this. Copy it from the terminal, open the .bashrc file, go down until you see no more lines and paste the line that we have copied. Ctrl O and Ctrl X and write bash to restart the terminal. So now you can see that we have some weird characters, so we are going to fix them. You can go to this section of my repository, this is the Ubuntu set root part, but we are going to copy the same commands. So first install unzip and then copy the long command. With this we are going to install basically a nerd phone. This nerd phone has already inside all the icons that we are going to use in the terminal. So if we open the terminal again, we can see that we have the icons. Now we are going to customize this with the theme that we prefer. So go to the Starship official page. Go to the configuration part and select presets. The presets are the things that you can apply to your terminal. In my case, I will select this one. So I'm going to copy the command and paste it in the terminal. But you can select the one that you prefer. So now let's see how we can run Wine. So in my repository, you can go to the how to run Wine section and copy this command. We are going to have an error and I want to show you how I fix it. So for this, we are going to modify the start script that we created in the chroot environment and we are going to comment the first line. Save the changes and execute the start script again. Now inside the Thermux X11 application, we are going to remove this folder that you are seeing right now in the screen. And now you can run wine, for example, run wine config and modify the screen resolution. So wine menus will appear bigger. For example, you can check it if you run the Wine Explorer with the command you're seeing right now. You can see that now the menus are bigger. And from this menu, you can select an X file and execute it. To do some tests, we can download Notepad++ and we're going to execute it with Wine. So we can check that we can run Windows programs. Check that you have the .x file and execute it with the command you're seeing right now. Box64, Wine and the name of the X file. You can now follow the installation instructions and when the process finishes, we will have Notepad++ working on our Android. I want to show you also a couple of games that I will show you later in the video, but I want to show you that when you close the Notepad++, you will find the startx file here in the program files folder. So you can go to this path and execute it again from this uh, path. After this, I'm going to show you a couple of games. In my case, I will show you Balatro and also Undertale. And I was quite surprised because Balatro was running bad in Mobox, 
but with Box64, with this environment, Balatro is running quite well and is also playable, not like in Mobox. So I think this CS2 root environment is very well optimized to run Windows programs and Windows games. So I will leave just a few seconds of gameplay here, but you can see that it's perfectly playable. In Mobos it was running like at 2 or 4 FPS and here it is running at 30 FPS. And also I want to show you that if you need to uncompress a RAR file, you can do with the tool called unrar. So install with the command you see right now. And I recommend you creating first a folder where all the uncompressed files are going to be stored. So you can uncompress the file with this command and run x the name of the file and the name of the folder. Now we are going to run Undertale with Box64 again and Wind. So you can check the performance, but Undertale is a very light game, so it is going to run perfectly. And to finish with the testing, I just tried to run Photoshop. It opens, but it runs very bad and also I couldn't create a new canvas to edit some photo, so I think it is not usable. But in general, I found that this CH2 root environment that comes with Box64 Droid is really well optimized and for me it runs better even than Mobox. So I recommend you testing this if you are root and leave a comment with the programs that you try with this.